the wolf, a mysterious predator known for its cunning nature. Stories of human-wolf conflict, as well as their association, date back to eternity. It is one of the most common large predators in the world. But in India, the species is overshadowed due to the presence of more charismatic predators like tigers and other megafauna like elephants. In India, majority of the wolf population remains outside protected areas and is highly dependent on domestic livestock. This brings them into a major conflict with humans, especially the shepherd community, persecuted systematically from almost its entire habitat. The Indian wolf is now confined to parts of Maharashtra, Rajasthan, Gujarat, Madhya Pradesh and Karnataka, where some breeding populations still survive. One of its last remaining strongholds is the Deccan Plateau of Maharashtra. The Grasslands Trust team has been following these wolves for the last decade under the guidance of eminent scientist Dr. Bilal Habib from the Wildlife Institute of India. Conserving these last remaining breeding populations spread across some of the most continuous belts of the grassland habitat is vital for the long-term survival of the species. Although wolves live in highly human-dominated landscapes, very less information is available on them. Because of the landscape and nature of these animals, it is not practical to follow or observe them continuously for a long time. Attaching GPS collars on the animals is the only source of getting authentic data like their land use pattern, movements, den site selection, hunting patterns, and most importantly, dispersal patterns of the subadults. But catching an animal which is used to living around humans and is known for its cunning behavior is quite a steep task. WII researchers and members of the Grasslands Trust began by identifying routes used regularly by wolves. After that, traps were set at the most suitable sites. The work began well before sunrise. Foot traps were set on the paths most favored by the wolves. These are called soft catch. After setting up the traps, they have to be monitored 24 by 7. Vehicles ferried between the trap sites to keep watchers supplied with water and food. An animal like the wolf that is so used to the ways of humans is quite difficult to outsmart. Many a times wolves appeared near the traps but took off when they sensed something odd. The team often changed the trap layouts to make them look natural. In some cases, free-ranging dogs disturbed the traps and everything had to be reset. In the three phases of collaring, eight wolves from different parts of Maharashtra were collared and released. Before releasing them, body measurements, weight and blood samples were taken for further study. Wolves of different ages were collared to know more about their ecology. The land use pattern of adult pairs showed considerable differences even regionally, depending on the availability of food and water. One of the sub-adults moved 80 kilometers away from her home territory and established herself in a new area. The den sites play a crucial role in the lives of the wolves. Protecting land patches preferred by wolves for den sites can also play an important role in their conservation. These wolves face grave challenges for their survival. Free-ranging dogs compete with them and are replacing them in some areas. Even leopards are taking over some of the habitats used by wolves in the past. Cases of poisoning happen as retaliation to livestock killing. Sometimes, whole packs are wiped out in the process. The wolf is the soul of our grasslands the apex predator in the ecosystem. What we need is concrete policy for its conservation if we don't want it to go the bustard way.